Good morning and welcome to part two of Getting Started with the Salesforce CLI. All right, so where are we heading for part two? Well, we're going to look at the Salesforce DX CLI data command. And as you would expect, it's all about data, creating data, importing data, deleting data, all of that kind of stuff. All right, so let's just jump right into it. So here we are. So I'm in my terminal session, very similar to the previous part. So I'm just going to do a couple of things, right? I'm just going to hit the history command, okay? And if you remember, these are some of the commands that we did previously. And the one that I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at our org list, all right? So I can cut and paste that and just paste that in there, or I could just do exclamation mark and the number. So if I want to rerun that command, I just do this. All right, and it brings up our orgs that we were using in part one. So we have our developer org and we have our sand, sandbox org. So I just want to pop one of these open, remember? So we can open Salesforce from here. So I'm just going to run command one, two, three. That's lucky, one, two, three. All right, and there it pops open my Salesforce instance. All right, great. So let's have a look at the data command then. So I'm going to type sfdx, as always, force, colon, data. Now, I don't know the commands, so I'm just going to do minus h, which brings up a list of the commands, OK? So let's look at the basic ones then. Let's look at creating records, because that's easy to do. So I'm just going to hit my up, and I'm just going to remove the minus h, and I'm going to go record, oops, full colon, record, Create. Now, I can't remember the command, so I'm just going to do my usual minus H, which brings up a list of examples and all of the flags and parameters that you can use with this one. Okay, so let's have a look at a very simple example. So what do I want to do? I want to go sfdx force.data record create. So I want to create that. I want to use the minus s and I'm going to create an account object. All right, so that's the s object, so account, contact, opportunity. If it was a custom object, it would just be like this. All right, so let's stick with an account. Then I need my values. V stands for values. And in here, it's basically looking for key pairs. So the field name and the value. So name is a required field on the account. Let's do open single quotes. I'm going to call this CLI demo account. Close single quotes, close double quotes. All right, so we're almost there. Then I need to tell it the target. So I'm going to do minus U and I'm going to go D. All right, let's hit enter. Have a look. All right, so it's created me. An account. I'm just going to highlight that, copy that, jump over here. I'm really lazy. Is it going to open up my account? Yes, it is. Fabulous. All right. There you go. That was really easy. Okay. So, what are we going to do next? Let's just leave that there. Let's just go back to the list of data commands. Okay, we could delete that. So if I wanted to delete that, let's just quickly look at that SF. So I'm just going to go like this, remove that, delete, uh, minus H, because I can't remember what it's expecting. And I'm going to say S account I for ID. And I'm going to grab, let me just scroll up here, grab that, bring it down here, put it in here. Now, the last thing that I need is the target. All right, so minus U, D. Okay, and that should delete my account. Let's just switch back to here. I'm just going to refresh this. There we go. Looks like there's a problem. Yeah, there's a problem. It's been deleted. All right. So we want to update an existing account. So let's have a look at that. So I've got an account here. Uh, actually, let's go to my Salesforce one. I've got an account here called Salesforce, funny enough. And I've got a field, a custom field called external ID. 
All right. See, I'd already done that, but let's just get rid of that. Save that. What I want to do is I want to set this external ID. I want to update this account and give it an external ID so that I can interact with it using the external ID. So I'm just going to grab the account ID at the top. I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to remove this, go update minus H. All right, let's have a look at what I want to do here. So very similar. So it's an account. I've got the ID. The values I want to update is now external ID underscore underscore C. I hope this is right. Equals uh, single quotes. I'm going to do SFDC capital letters this time. Close quotes, double quotes, minus U D. All right, successfully updated. Let's have a look. There you go. So we've updated that account. Great. So all good so far. Let's go back to our list of data commands. So we've done create, delete, update, get. We can quickly have a look at that. Um, that was a delete. Let's let's go to our update one. Where is it? Let's go back to the beginning. Oh. Update. Right, here we go. So I just want to do a get. So let's have a look at the get quickly. Record update get minus h. So similar. So s account id. Let's paste that in minus u d. All right. So that gets us a little bit more detail, as you can imagine. Right. So that's the get. So let's just go back to the list of commands and just tick these off. So we've done all of the record ones there. So let's have a look at Sockle query one now. Next, I'm trying to keep this all still within 15 minutes ish. So I'm just conscious of the time. We can always do further parts. So I'm just going to cut and paste that. I'm just going to put sfdx. Oh, going to go to the end minus h. Have a look at this. Okay, so query or Sockle query. So ability to run a query, have that brought back into the CLI, but better still have that brought back into the CLI as a CSV file so that we can do some stuff with it. So let's do this. So Q for query. So I'm just going to open double quotes. I'm going to say select ID name. And I'm going to also select our external ID underscore C, right? From account. All right, so a very basic one. What else do I need? I want to say minus U D. I'm just going to run that and bring that back, and then we'll look at a couple of other flags that you can use for this. So there you go. There's all my accounts, all right? So now I want to get a bit cleverer. I want that as a CSV file, okay? So I can say minus R for results format. Let's just scroll up, yeah, results format. And I can say CSV, D in there. So minus U, D, and the format is CSV. Let's just rerun that, okay? Now, that's okay, but it's on the screen. So those of you that are getting into the CLI and you've watched the Peter Cheatham video, he would have taught you some other very useful commands. This one allows me to just pipe this out to a file. So let's just call this accounts.csv. So greater than sign accounts.csv. All right, so now you don't see it on the screen. And why don't you see it on the screen? You don't see it on the screen because if I go list, 
I can see my accounts CSV has been written out to this directory. Right, and if I just go cat accounts, it will pump it out to the screen. Okay, so that's a bit useful. So what else can we do? Very quickly, I'm just conscious of time here. So let's do this. So let's go code counts CSV. So remember, I've got VS Code installed. So I can type code, and then I can just pop open a file. All right, now let's just get rid of some of these here. Uh, ooh, interesting. Where's... Yeah, these ones must be deleted. Ah, interesting. So let's do this. I think those are deleted accounts. Right, so what have we got? Cloud NA has an external ID. Facebook doesn't, so let's give it one. Um, let's just make this one Cloud NA. Okay, so I've just manipulated my CSV there very quickly. I could equally add some columns in here and do whatever manipulation I like to the CSV. Very similar to when you're preparing a file to, to data load it in or use Workbench, except as you can see, I'm completely outside of Salesforce and I'm just popping files here and there. All right, so I've saved that file. So what do I need to do now? So let's, let's have a look at the data command this again. So what can we do with this? So it looks like we could do a bulk upsert. All right, so let's take this command. Let's just copy this properly. Let's get rid of this. Let's do minus h. Of course, sfdx. You must always remember that, and I've done it wrong again. See, this is real live stuff. Minus H. Okay, so what do we need here? So we need minus S for our object, so we want our account. We need a path to our file. All right, so I'm gonna say F for file and then account. So I'm just hitting tab there and it will complete it for me. My ID, I'm gonna use the ID. All right, I could use the external ID, but I'm gonna use the ID because what I wanna do is I wanna take all of these and just update them. Um, let's put Salesforce US in front of that. And let's just remove IO from that and just put that in there, okay? So make sure I completely tweak my data. Then I need minus U and D, all right? There we go. So we now have a batch job. So I'm just going to hit that. Minus D, oh, so minus U D. So look at this. Ah, that's because I don't have a default set. But that's okay. We can check that in the org. So let's just go into the org. All right, let's go to setup. Let's go to bulk data jobs. Just check that that's made it to the queue. Yes, it has. Let's have a look at the data. Okay, we got Salesforce US, Facebook US, Cloud NA. Let's just have a look at this. We should have external ID, we do. Facebook USA, we have external ID. All right, so now I could do this as well. So instead of that, I can now use my external ID. This is the last thing, external ID minus C. And before I do that, I'm just gonna come in here and do this. So, 
let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Just gonna tweak this. All right, I'm gonna add a new one on here. Let's go Amazon. All right. Let's go Amazon. Amazon. I can't even spell. Oh shit. Amazon. AWS. All right. So we've now got a new account. Let's come back in here. Let's do our bulk upset on my account CSV using my Excel ID. All right. I'm not going to run the command because I don't have a default set up, but we can tell by refreshing this. that there's four there, okay? So do we have an Amazon one? We do. All right, there you go. That is it for this week. I wanna stop there and not go on too long, but I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, there's more to come. All right, take it easy.